in marriage is our guest dr magda Eimer, a counselor very good morning to you doctor mm -hmm. thank you very much for morning. joining us morning. okay doctor so how true is communication uh, critical for growth in a marriage and in a relationship in fact uh, communication is an art uh, communication skills is an art we have to learn it and uh, uh, I have to stress on uh, three components in communication skills. We, we've, we've, uh, we've been elaborating this in details before with a, a previous session with you. Mm -hmm. It was uh, first uh, that we have the verbal uh, component, with, mm -hmm. which accounts for only 7%. I mean, whatever you utter as a word, account for your communication for seven only percent. Then uh, I, I want to stress on the second one, which is uh, account for 55%, which is the body language. Body language, it, it means your gesture, your facial expressions, uh, 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 how, how you, you react I mean, uh, with your shoulder, etc. And uh, then the third one with, will be the non-verbal, uh, which is uh, account only for 38% is, is the tone of the, or your voice. Mm -hmm. So at least we start by this as, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, we recall whatever you said, and then we start by our topic is uh, regarding men and women. First, men and women, they are different. They are not competing with each other. They are two entities that are uh, uh, complementing to each other. The whole universe is uh, created by two entities, the yin and the yang, according to the Chinese medicine, or the positive and the negative. Each one plays its role perfectly, and no one can replace each other. I mean, the, the, the stem cannot play the role of, the, of uh, the roots, and vice versa. So this concept is very important to build up a healthy relationship between husband and wife, that we're here to complement each other, we're here to uh, nurture all our levels, that means mental level, we, we, uh, we put like, uh, we establish our goals, and each one has to uh, assist the other and uh, motivate the other to achieve his goal. On the uh, uh, emotional level, it's very important to discuss together your, and, and to feel free to express whatever you feel. And on uh, physical level, of course, it has lots of, uh, you have to learn a lot. So it's a whole uh, concept how, especially not to uh, adopt what we call uh, win-lose uh, uh, concept that we know we're here to compromise. So the art of compromise, there are certain keywords, I stress on it, to, to build up a healthy relationship. Number one is compromise. Compromise is number one, very important. Uh, each one, we shouldn't like struggle to convince the other by yeah. his opinion. Uh, uh, another, I mean, a list of things you have to compromise. Um, instead of uh, accusing the other, we should replace the accu uh, accusation by uh, 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 appreciation uh, 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 and uh, understanding, especially. Uh, second, instead of uh, using uh, the, the, uh, the, the language of um, uh, being, uh, uh, I mean, uh, closeness, it, we should be open, open to the other perspective, open yeah. to the other uh, view, and not my opinion, and that's it. Since both men and women communicate differently, uh, as you've mentioned, because they are different, so sure there are challenges, how can you uh, help them uh, bridge the gap? Uh, well, uh, first, as you said, number one is, uh, second will be flexibility. Instead of being rigid to each other, they have to be flexible. Because in uh, NLP, it was found that uh, we have to accept people as they are. The only way to really uh, to, uh, to build up this uh, a, a good relationship is to be flexible. Change your way if it doesn't work. Mm. Uh, 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 another way also is, uh, I'll just uh, check, uh, uh, is uh, instead of complaining, uh, you better uh, be appreciated because uh, men seeks to be appreciated. So if women doesn't understand this, they will look around <laughs> somewhere else. So uh, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, uh, Then uh, uh, that means uh, the Prophet was uh, advising women to, to give uh, 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 charity, men, uh, 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 money for charity, because they used to, that means they used to complain a lot about their husband. So this is one of the big mistakes is complaining. So we replace complaining by appreciation. 
uh, we replace rigidity by flexibility. Mm -hmm. we, we, re we replace defensiveness by openness. And we replace silence by sharing. Sharing is very important. Uh, we are one person, I mean, any problem has to be shared together. We have to show sympathy, empathy, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and especially if, if the husband feels depressed, never ever as, uh, feel the opposite, that you are happy. Uh, you have to share whatever his feeling is. Mm -hmm. This is part of the art of communication. Uh, it, uh, also, uh, we have to shift the negative thoughts by positive thoughts. Positive thoughts, that means focus on uh, the three, at least three qualities. I'm talking, I'm addressing my talking to women, especially today. And so at least women have to focus on three qualities uh, for her husband. And never recall whatever has been finished in the, in the past. So forget about the past. Mm -hmm. About the past and then and gen generalize it. Mm -hmm. You always do so and so and so. Never use the word always because this is happening once or twice. So you have to limit your thoughts and uh, your, your focus. Uh, uh, also, um, uh, among the, um, uh, the advices is for women, especially it was given by a, a lady, an Arab lady that give, has given a list of advices for her daughter before marriage. Uh, she told her be a center of attraction, a center of comfort. When ayati and khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwajan litaskunu ilayha wa ja'ala baynakum mawaddatan wa rahma inna fi dhalika la ayatin liqawmi yatafakkaru Here, uh, when we translate it, that means uh, women has to have to learn to be how to be the center of comfort. A second, that means uh, she, like Khadija did, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Prophet's wife, whenever he was uh, in distress and after the revelation of, uh, uh, of uh, the, the spirit, I mean, uh, the angel, uh, Archangel Gabriel, uh, he was really shaken and he went to see her. She reassured him. So the, the, it's very important for a woman to have this art of reassurance for her husband. And she just recalled his qualities. So this is like, how come anything bad will happen to you? Though, in fact, you, are, you have lots of qualities like uh, helping the poor, you're say, saying the truth, uh, you're, uh, you're very generous to uh, the host, and, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, another thing for the women, I, I give her advice also to be a, a, a perfect listener. A perfect right. listener for the husband, it means uh, she has to pay attention not to overlap the uh, corners together. That means what? while he's uh, talking to her, she's busy doing something else or answering the phone of a colleague. This is another uh, social corner or, uh, uh, or professional uh, corner. How come you mix it with the marital one? So you have to be focused and give quality time. Quality time means you really pay attention and, uh, and then rephrase what he said. Never, of course, uh, uh, l let him feel that his speech is unworthy. And at the end, my precious advice will be how to admonish your husband. And, and this is very hateful. He, many men dislike at, you know, to be admonished. So uh, we, uh, we adopt what we call sandwich technique. Sandwich technique is what is, suppose you want to criticize something and stop him doing whatever. You don't go and just directly and say, don't do this. Mm. This is really would be like very really resentful for you. And how do you sandwich it then? And then you sandwich it then by first you, you flatter him. You say I appreciate very much your cooperation, how much you're, you're keen about, you're about helping me in household chores and all of this. And uh, then you so go diplomacy for, is the key here. Yeah, the key here is just how to first be by flattering. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes, exactly diplomatic. And then in, in, in the middle, you start to say, but you know, your desk is very messy. I'll, it will be really nice of you. And Rather give than an giving effort, orders. Uh, instead of giving uh, uh, right. orders. Doctor, let me and ask you. At the you end, you finish by, again, uh, uh, another uh, good aspect. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, this is all uh, well and said, um, but the problem, of course, arises when there's an argument or there is anger in the equation. It seems that people might forget some of this very precious advice. So tell me, how can communication skills be learned? I mean, surely you need to practice how to communicate in sure. such a way that doesn't block uh, communication uh, between uh, you and your husband. 
Sure. Especially when there is an argument, we have to uh, go to the point of attraction. Whenever point of attraction, it's it's a phase when they get to know each other in the in the beginning, and then it, and there is a peak of attraction, peak of uh, you know, perfect relationship. We have to recall this and focus on it and never focus on any disagreement. This is number one. You know? uh, so we remind each other, you remember when you were in the honeymoon, da, 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 or, or any good things that happened, you know, any events, nice. Uh, so, because why the, the, the subconscious mind cannot concentrate on two things at the, at the time. You either focus on the positive or the negative. So one will cancel the other. So this is an art. Second, uh, you choose the best time to, uh, to argue together. And uh, so uh, time is very important when he's busy, he, w he won't be receptive, of course. So uh, 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 this is an art, again, to select the time. Third, I'll advise never ever uh, leave a problem or arouse a problem uh, uh, and then leave it open before you sleep. Because uh, you have to really uh, uh, f finish and sort out the problem before sleeping because while sleeping everything is amplified through the subconscious mind and uh, instead of uh, resolving the problem it is multiplied and uh, complicated so so uh, this and uh, never also n you use hurting uh, words because even if the problem is solved hurting word lasts forever and you just keep on uh, re it remains in your mind and it affects you negatively uh, no, also an, uh, about the advices is never link between love and the negative uh, uh, things that happen you know like I don't love you anymore because you've done so and so no this is like you hate the sin as we said uh, say in Islam but you don't hate the sinner mm -hmm. it's uh, like separate between both mm -hmm. is, is very important and, uh, and don't generalize you always do this and this this is very very important focus on minor, it is a minor problem. And again, go for the three qualities. Put yourself in his shoes and say, why he behaved so? Maybe there is at least 1% mistake I've done. This is very rare when you blame yourself. You have to learn how to say, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore because it really hurt him so much, whatever. So it's a whole art, you know, how mm -hmm. whatever he dislikes, you avoid. You have the list and, and you know well what you're doing and whatever he likes or the opposite you, you try to please him by uh, whatever he likes the, the it's it's you have to learn you know it, it, uh, it's a whole art of uh, communication and uh, you have to know that a word can change from uh, a horrible relationship into a really harmony uh, a, a, a nice gesture it could be really touching in his heart uh, and um, uh, among the advices of the ladies, who, uh, in the Arab ladies to her daughter, she said, be an attractive point for him uh, regarding how you look like, uh, how you, your, your smell, never smell bad, never, nasty, never let him smell any nasty odor, uh, and uh, keep the smile. And this is like a keyword and a golden rule for the Prophet Sallallahu he gave us to, is uh, to keep smiling because smiling is an act of charity right i guess we we should end here on that optimistic <laughs> note so that <laughs> we will keep on smiling the rest of the day <laughs> yeah. uh, dr magda amir marriage counselor thank you very much for thank being you. here Thank you very much indeed, the Doctor. And now we go to Resela, a non-profit organization powered by over 100,000 volunteers spanning 49 branches all over Egypt. It helps the Egyptian community through many activities. Reha Morsi tells us more in her report. Ramadan always brings out the best in people. Everyone wants to give and help those around them. This is because Ramadan is 